Hello everyone out there. Uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I am here with a um, continuing step-by-step uh, -step process with Ken's case. And now our abutments are finally back from Atlanta. So here it is Thursday. As you recall, uh, my last, my previous discussion included um, a design, a uh, FedEx up to Atlantis on a Friday, the following Tuesday of this week, we uh, received the images uh, via the email, uh, via CAD CAM technology and software. And then uh, we uh, okayed the design and back they came. Here they are Thursday. Uh, they arrived uh, uh, via FedEx and we're ready to hand them over to our laboratory technician. So let's go through it. Um, these are the abutments and they all are very parallel with each other. Um, I'm going to zoom in and I'll show you the specific design. Uh, this is one of the bicuspids and that has a very nice uh, look to it. Uh, here's a cuspid here and you'll see a nice chamfer uh, design. That was the design I picked. I also picked I wanted to support the soft tissue. These are 8 and 9. Very nice design. And uh, coming over to the 2 by cuspids 4 and 5 with ample space in between. Screw head positioning. Clusal opening. And they also, which is nice about Atlantis as they mark, most labs will mark um, each abutment and here are four and five for the uh, bicuspids and these are marked also eight and nine, eleven and thirteen. Let's go back to number two, that's the molar. Very nice design and we're ready. So let me digress a little bit here and and talk a little bit about how we got to this this position um, the lab <coughs> at Atlantis will make these for you but I made it myself um, they were very much impressed by the use of triad material where you can actually take it on and off the model it's not made of wax it's made of a hard uh, composite material uh, we've also discussed the fact that we can even try this in the mouth if we sterilize it. Um, you know, I haven't, but you could. And so, again, they scanned this. They superimposed it over the lower model, which is the bite registration uh, and lower model. There we are. And then this gets uh, scanned and placed into the software. And so now you have the upper model, the lower model, mounted together, virtually uh, together. And eventually the, the three-dimensional design on the computer. And then communication with the milling uh, machines and then finalization of the abutments finished and back here and ready to go. So there are the abutments. Again, um, now there's a few things too when you get a case back you want to check it again with your own silicone index because you never know you know with a computer is still maybe some things you need to adjust. We still need the human being for some of this. So uh, I put my index back in place and I did find that I would like to have this abutment which is number 13 as well as number 5 changed. And so let's take a look at that. Let's see why. Well we're looking through our silicone, or excuse me, our Omnivac, and we find out it's it's not that long. It's kind of short and and squatty. So we're going to increase the length by about a millimeter. And also we wanted to make 
this abutment wider. Uh, a little too narrow to cast to, too narrow to put cement in and expect it to seat all the way. So we're going to increase the width. So we'll be above the gum line with the margin on 13, but we're going to make it wider, match the other side. Okay, and if there's any other modifications, the lab technician's going to do that before they fabricate the framework, which is our next step. Um, I'll show you the new abutments. Um, incidentally, the company will manufacture a whole set of abutments at no charge. Um, they, they would rather do that and have them all come in together and this way they stay in the same path of insertion and so they uh, I asked him I said you know what about just making a few and then returning them to me and I'll I'll swap them out and they said no we'll just make you a whole new set so I believe on Monday since today is the end of the day it's Thursday after five o'clock so on Monday I'll have them in the office and then off they go to the lab ready to go. So that's it. These are the uh, Atlantis abutments and they do fit very well to the mo to the model and uh, see you next time. Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Take care.